In a previous video, I went through all of the steps that were necessary so that I could set up my machine with no .js and with a, a code editor. I chose to use Visual Studio Code. And in this session, I'm actually going to now start writing some JavaScript, which of course is the best way to learn is by writing some JavaScript, see what the results are. So I've got a brand new directory here called Learning JavaScript with Node. So whenever I have a new project, which I want to create in a new directory, I need to begin by typing in npm init. This is going to set up the package.json file on which npm and node really rely. So I'm going to call this learning JavaScript with node, no spaces. Uh, version one is fine. Description, learning stuff. That's fine. Entry point index.js is fine. Uh, I'm not going to specify a test command. I'm not going to specify a Git repository. Not even going to specify any keywords at this time. And ISC is fine for the license. So this is OK. So I'm just going to hit return. Now, at this point, because I've already installed Visual Studio Code, I can simply type code dot, which will open my editor. So now I have my code editor open where I want it to be. Now if I click right here, I can see the contents of that file package.json that was created. Now the next thing that I want to do, because I have Node installed and because I have NPM installed, I can start to bring in some additional tools that will make it much, much easier for me to develop with JavaScript. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to install a package that's called Browser Sync. Now, Browser Sync, if you go out to Google and you just Google for NPM Browser Sync, you'll be able to find this package and all of its documentation. I, I really think that Browser Sync is great and I really recommend using it. And I think you'll see why in just a few minutes. So, back over here in my node command prompt in my new directory. I'm going to type in npm install minus g browser sync. And this is going to take a while, so be patient. All right, now browser sync is installed and it's ready to use. Now, what does browser sync do? Browser sync actually acts kind of like a web server. So when I start up browser sync, whenever I make a change to a file, Browser Sync will then notice that change and send that content to my browser. So coming back over to my editor, what I'm going to create in my project is a new file, and I'm going to call that file index.html. JavaScript in your browser works in conjunction with HTML. We actually are going to be using JavaScript in order to add content and in order to add behavior to web pages, and web pages are written using HTML. So I'm going to type in a very simple web page, and through the magic of being able to edit the video, here is my simple HTML file, and basically what it's saying is that the name of the file is index.html. We have the HTML tag, so everything between here and here is written in the hypertext markup language. The head section of your HTML document provides data that describes the document. And then here's the important part. Here's the body of the document. And I just simply said, hello world in here. So now I have my simple hello world HTML file. And what I want to do is I want to use browser sync, which I previously installed over in my node command window. I want to use browser sync to serve this page so that it shows up in my browser. So what I do is I come back over to my command prompt and I'm going to type in browser sync. That's the name of the package that I installed. And I have to give it some configuration settings. So first I want to say start minus s minus f. Tell it which file to look at. I want it to look at index.html and I want it to output index.html to my browser. So that command is dash dash no dash UI. I hit return. Browser sync now opened my web page. You saw that little message that said connected to browser sync. 
and we can see that Browser Sync is serving up my index.html file. Now, the great thing about Browser Sync is that every time I make a change and save it to index.html, it's going to update my browser. So let me come back over here to Visual Studio Code and I'm saying, hello world, how are you today? And then once I save that, I'm going to type Control S. You'll see that Browser Sync synchronized what I had over here on the right in my file index.html and it put it here in the browser. Hello world, how are you today? And if I go back over to my command prompt window, which is behind here, you can see that it's actually noticing that index.html changed. This is, this is pretty good, but you know, typing this command, browser sync, start, th this is a lot of work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this command and I'm gonna copy it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over here to that file that was created when I did npm init, this package.json. If I look in package.json, there's a section here that's called scripts. And what I can do is I can write my own scripts in order to take things like starting browser sync and make them much easier. So what I'm gonna do is I've already got this script here for the test. At the end of this line for the test script, I'm gonna type comma and then a new line. And then I'm going to create a new script, which I'm going to call start. I'm going to paste in, using control V, that text that I typed on my command line. And what this means is that now I can come back over to my command window and I can type in npm start. And it's running that command that I put in my script. So this is great. Now all I have to do when I'm in my directory is just type in npm start and it's going to execute this script right here. Okay, so far so good, but I have not actually done anything with JavaScript yet. So now let's do something with JavaScript. So I really should put most of my files under a directory that I'm going to call source. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it src. Now in that folder, I'm going to create a new file, which I'm going to name app.js. And I'm going to put my JavaScript into this file, app.js. So in my JavaScript file, I want to write a very simple JavaScript statement that's going to update the HTML that's being displayed in the browser. So what I want to do is I want to update the document. I just type in document, and it's this lowercase. I want to update the document. So if I type dot, what I want to update within the document is everything that's within that body tag. So it's document.body, and inside that body, what I want to do, I want to update the HTML that's within the body. So I just say inner HTML. All right, so I'm going to update the document's body and set the inner HTML to be a string. And I'm going to just say, hello from JavaScript, and then save that. So now that I have my JavaScript statement in app.js, I want to modify my index.html so that it will actually execute that JavaScript that I've just written. And I do that by replacing this line in the body with a script element. So it's script, and then within the script element, you can say, src is equal to, and then you type in the location of the file where the JavaScript is. And in my case, it's in src slash app.js. And then I have to close off this tag. And in the case of the script tag, I have to have a closing tag slash script. And then when I save that, you saw over here in my browser window, now I'm getting the code that's in app.js executed. All right, we're almost there, but not quite because what I really want is so that if I change my JavaScript file, the browser will update. So right now, if I'd say, hello from JavaScript, how are you today? If I save that, I'm typing control S, 
you'll notice it doesn't update the browser. Well, why is that? Well, it's because back here in my package.json file, when I defined my start command for npm, I said start and I gave it a specific file. Well, what I wanted to do is I wanted to not only be looking at this specific file, but if I make any changes at all to any file that's in that src directory, in that source directory, I want it to notice that change and update the browser on those changes also. So I'm going to save this, and then I have to come back over to my node command prompt window, and I'm going to type control C because I have to quit my browser sync and restart it in order for this to work correctly. So now, making sure that I have saved my changes to my package.json file, I can now type in npm start. We see that it starts up again. Now, let's test it. What I wanted to do was make sure that if I make a change just in the JavaScript file, that Browser Sync will notice that and will update my browser with that change. So in my app.js, I can say, how about, hello there, how are you today? Once I save this, I'm typing control S. You see it did update the browser as I wanted it to do. So now I have my environment set up where I can create my JavaScript and every time that I make a change, it's going to be reflected over here in the browser. So now I can really start experimenting with JavaScript.